My name's Marianne Gooden. I'm working as a textile conservator here at Art Lab Australia. What I do as a textile conservator is to care for and preserve textile items, whether they be large flags and banners, tapestries, um, small intimate items like hand embroideries and lace objects, lovely items like this such as an old teddy bear and dolls and then of course costume and all the accessories that go with that. When I found out that such a career existed as conservation I thought wow that would be fantastic. What we're trying to preserve with an item is its significance and identifying what that significance is really informs the treatment. And a lot of the decision making that we go through is a scientific decision making process. Having that um, understanding of basic chemistry of you know, even just plant based fibres versus protein fibres, how they behave differently um, is really important. I make predictions about what type of material I might be working on and then I test it either um, doing visual analysis under the microscope or using analytical equipment and a lot of the objects that come in are multi-material um, objects so you've got you know, it might have a bit of textile, a bit of paper, something might be painted so it's really good to have input from people who are specialists in those fields. I'm sure in the next hundred years there's going to be many more developments of new types of um, fibres and fibre technology. So knowing how they are going to deteriorate in the future is going to be a really interesting challenge. <laughs> there's a lot of ethical considerations which need to be made in conservation. Knowing how far to take a treatment in terms of what is best for the object, um, that always dictates sort of our approach. There's pressure sometimes from clients who perhaps don't have as full an understanding of conservation that they want something to look brand new and fabulous when it's had its treatment, which you know, may or may not be possible. This little teddy bear is a good example of that. You know, what we're wanting to maintain for the History Trust is the story of this teddy bear. We want to be able to see these old repairs that have been done, the poor condition of it. It just shows you how much love um, this little bear's had and yeah, make sure that it doesn't deteriorate further but that we still maintain all its original charm. I think society's become a lot more informed, they're a lot more educated and appreciative of old things um, than perhaps they were in previous generations. Yeah, it's always very satisfying to finish something and know that you've done um, the best that you can in preserving something for longevity.